guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is basically just gonna be like a getting things done around the house video because obviously we've been moved in for about a week and a half now and things are starting to appear, things that we want to do, things that we can just get done straight away and just like crack on with. So for example, like we need to change the shower curtain in the bathroom. Like we will redo the bathroom properly at one point, but just the shower curtain is something that we really need to do because the current shower curtain, one is, a, is like someone else's shower curtain. So it's got like, you know, mold, mildew, all that stuff on it. We've cleaned it, but we just thought, you know what, it's only a five hour to get a new one. So let's just do that. So I went to Home Bargains and grabbed a new shower curtain. And also at the top, like the actual curtain rail, not curtain rail, like shower curtain rail thing is like really like rusty. So I'm either, I'm gonna see if I can get that nice and clean. If not, I will get a new one. Um, and like the metal um, hoops, like hooks that were like attached so you could take the shower curtain across were like making this horrible screechy noise every single time I did it and I was like you know what no so I've just bought like a new one gonna get that up today at some point I also really wanted to show everyone the new like home security system that we got so it's actually what you're leaning on right now you're on the box and I thought I would unbox it with you guys because I'm so impressed with the amount that I've been sent. So Simply Safe are kindly sponsoring some of this video, but I really wanted to show you this part because it's just so impressive the amount that you get. I'm just gonna go through it all now. Like for me, moving into a new house and stuff, you wanna make sure that it's as secure as it possibly can be. And obviously I am on my own during the week with George and that has always freaked me out a little bit. Like I don't love being in the house on my own, but having something like this will give me massive peace of mind um, and Ash peace of mind as well when he's away. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you the bits that we got and then later on in the video, I'll show you like setting it up and stuff when we're cracking on actually doing all the other jobs around the house, not just the shower curtain. I might, and it's a big might, try and get round to painting George's room white um today because we are planning in august to do like a proper um like room transformation for george but i need to paint it white first because it's like a really dark gray at the moment and like no color will come up properly so i need to paint it all white and then start from fresh but anyway and i do apologize about my throat by the way i've still got a little bit of a cold but i feel tons better i just sound absolutely ridiculous um but let me just show you the bits that we got wow right okay so we have got the base station, which is for like the entire system. We're probably gonna install this one first and then this will be like, obviously, what everything's connected to. We've then got a outdoor security camera, which I think we're gonna be able to install today as well. So, I love it. I've never had an outdoor security camera before. It makes me feel proper like bougie. I love that. These are so much more affordable than you expect them to be as well. I always thought this kind of stuff would cost thousands and it absolutely did not. So the keypad thing as well, which is obviously how you like deactivate your entire system or like when you're coming in and everything. I can't wait to get this all set up and everything. Got a few extra bits like an indoor camera. This is actually really cool because you could use this as a baby monitor really easily. So if you were going to like kit out your home with a security system and you had a little one, security camera inside it can also act as a baby monitor you know like you can see them obviously like it has motion detector and sound and everything like that so good it's all good um and yeah there's lots of like motion detectors and little entry point uh sensors so you put these on your doors um and your windows like ground floor windows and stuff like that so yeah that's everything i got from simply safe I'm very excited to install these a little bit later but first of all i think i'm going to try and tackle that shower curtain because it's been on the floor of the bathroom for like two days waiting for me to put it up so i'm just gonna go do it because it's george's nap time and i've got time so i'm gonna go and do that now right jen you don't know how i'm gonna be able to do this but let's give it a go Enough. None of these screwdrivers work either. Right, 
right, now that that's all done, I can actually get the new shower curtain up. I couldn't actually get that shower pole down um, because you need like a really small Allen key and we don't have one. So I've just given it a good clean and hopefully that will do. Um, so I literally got this for like $3.99 in Home Bargains because like I said, we are going to redo the bathroom at some point. I don't know how these work though. is now up. I know it's nothing special but let me tell you when before we had like the metal um, rings going across they just wouldn't they would get stuck and then they'd scrape and it'd make a horrible noise and they would never go fully across whereas this one slides across completely shut. I absolutely know that that is going to make my morning shower a lot more easy so yes perfect I'm glad I did that but as I said in my last vlog this room is not going to be like one of those little DIYs that we do like to make shift make it work we're going to actually like redo it properly like get rid of these tiles panel maybe get a freestanding bath if we can like completely rip this out and start again and I'm really excited for that and we're going to do most of the work ourselves and ourselves I mean Ash I'll paint and I'll attempt to do some tiling but pretty much the plumbing and stuff Ash will do so yeah I'm excited for that I feel like this room is going to be a big transformation and I cannot wait but yeah I do have a habit of maybe getting ahead of myself just a tad because the bathroom is definitely not the first thing that we need to be thinking about the first thing that we probably need to be thinking about is security and getting all that kind of stuff set up so that is definitely what I'm going to be doing a little bit later but talking about getting ahead of myself again I'm just going to show you some set paint samples quickly I just went to B&Q earlier to just get some white emulsion paint um, just because I wanted to paint George's room which is currently like a dark grey colour um, just put matte white and then go over with a colour of some sort maybe like half of it I think we're probably going to do like some sort of colour block situation and these are the colours that I'm looking at so these are all from the Valspar range at B&Q and I'm thinking, so I've kind of discounted these two colours because I think they're just a bit much, like they're just too green, I don't know. That one actually doesn't look that bad on the camera, but in real life it looks a little bit more green. I know that sounds silly because they're all green, but yeah. These are the kind of colours that I'm thinking, they're a bit more earthy I think maybe. So this one's actually called Good Earth, and we've got Summer Valley. Summer Valley definitely looks better in person than it does on the camera. Rugged Olive and private affair so I don't exactly know I'm gonna do some swatches but I'll do them after um I've actually gone over it in white because there's no point in going over dark grey with these because they just won't look the same actually whilst I'm talking about paint samples earlier I actually did some paint samples behind here because I don't think the hallway is something that we're gonna be doing straight away but at some point we will and I did these paint swatches um so I actually did write I don't know if you can see those but actually Ash wrote the colours of these at the bottom so I don't forget. I've just hidden them behind this painting for now so that, yeah. Because I don't think we're going to be doing this straight away. The current wall colour is Polished Pebble by Dulux. But I just, I don't know. I think it's just a little bit too grey. I know it sounds silly, but I don't know. I feel like it could be a little bit brighter in here. Although none of these are screaming bright and airy to me like they're all a little bit darker if anything than the current colour I thought I would like the one on the right which is Egyptian Cotton by Gilux but again I guess it's hard to tell because it's going over the top of a different colour so I'm not entirely sure and I feel like every lighting it's going to be different um but yeah I'm not sure what do you guys think if you guys have any suggestions for hallway colours like what you have in your hallway to keep it nice and bright then please do let me know. Oh my god, that is so wonky. Hold on. There we go. That'll do. But yeah, if any of you guys have suggestions for like hallway colours, like to keep it nice, bright and airy, then I'd really appreciate it. We're also getting a different front door at one point because just I don't love the pattern of the glass in this and it's all glass, which isn't the most secure ever. So I think we're going to get a new front door. But obviously at the moment it lets in so much light which is amazing it's like a really, really massive selling point for the house but if we get a door that's like more wood or whatever maybe um, composite or whatever it is 
it might not be like as bright and airy in here so having the hallway like a nice bright colour is something that I definitely want to do but at the moment I'm feeling that this like polished pebble is looking a little bit like purpley like blue maybe um, but I think it is just the lighting but it's just one of the things that it always looks different when it's on the wall doesn't it while I'm taking you around the house talking about updates we got a new bin <laughs> I don't know if you guys are excited about this kind of thing as much as I am, but I love it. I love that it's a pull-out bin. It's got recycling. Well, we're using the back two for recycling and the front one for rubbish. It just slides out, goes in the cupboard, and it's hidden. I'm amazed. If you guys remember, we used to have our big bin that we have in the old house in here. Um, and this, we're getting a freezer delivered tomorrow, so that is where... Our freezer's gonna go, we need to just clear up the bits at the bottom. But our freezer's gonna go in there, and yeah, so we needed space for a bin. So we've got a new bin, <laughs> and it's in the cupboard, and it is on wheels, on a little track, and I just love it. Sorry I keep showing you my rubbish, but I'm just really obsessed with that new bin. I also picked up a couple of bathroom brochures and stuff like that, <sighs> because I just couldn't help myself, to be honest. I have no idea when we're gonna be able to do that, but I've got them to little browse through my little bedtime reading. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's crack on and actually get some stuff sorted. I'm going to tidy the living room because George has very much been here. And then we're going to crack on and install all of our Simply Safe security system. I lose my breath whenever I see you. you do my life was great till you added colors when it came to setting up the simply safe home security system it was so easy because the base station literally just has to be plugged in i just took out the tab to make sure the batteries were activated plugged it in and it was ready to go it was genuinely that easy and then it was just time to set up the keypad that comes with the system and for this it was really easy all i had to do was attach the bracket that the keypad then sits on it's really easy because you can remove the keypad from this bracket if you need to take it around the house for example i then just really simply followed the setup instructions that were shown on the keypad screen and they also send a little guide that you can refer to if needed but I really didn't need to because it was all so so straightforward and then it was time for me to start setting up all of my devices around the house to make sure our house is nice and secure. First up I'm just going to go ahead and connect one of the motion sensors that we've got for the house. You can select where it's going to be and this one's going to be in our hallway. We've got a few around the house and this is so easy to just secure it to the wall with the cell adhesive strips like with the keypad holder. We also have some entry sensors and these are just to go on doors or ground floor windows and things like that so that when the doors are open it senses that they're open and when they're closed it senses that they're closed and it's the same when you connect it to the system you press the button and then it says that the entry sensor has been found you say where it's going to be and then it is literally set up just like that. Again really really straightforward to fit to the doors because you've got the self adhesive strips so so, so straightforward, you don't need any screws or anything. Then once all the sensors were set up, I decided to go and install the indoor camera. Your camera is ready for setup. Follow the instructions in the Simply Safe app to get started. This one was really easy to do because it has a app basically where you can view what the camera is viewing and it has a little QR code on the app that you can scan with the camera which is pretty cool. Now attempting to connect to Wi-Fi. The light changes colour on the front whilst it's connecting and it explains the entire setup guide on the app so it was super super straightforward and then it was literally done within minutes. Okay, so I think that's our home security system set up, which I can't believe because it was so straightforward, like so easy. And to be fair, when I was looking at the reviews on Trustpilot, like Simply Safe is rated excellent on Trustpilot anyway, but the reviews all said how easy it was to set up, and honestly, that took us like half an hour. So you could easily do this within a nap time, which is exactly what we've just done. George is still asleep, and I think 
maybe he's stirring now so i'm gonna go up and get him in just a minute probably go through his bedroom and stuff like that and sort out a couple bits in his room probably like just sort his hangers and stuff out i think i'm also gonna have a little look at the premium pro plan that simply safe do basically on the premium pro plan you have like 24 7 monitoring like i said and the police response if you have like a visually verified incident if not then you have the guard response from one of the monitoring centers will be dispatched to your house if you don't have a visually verified incident and it just looks really really good so i'm definitely going to look into that as well but yeah we're all set up it is there it's good we're all like dotted about the house we've got all of our motion sensors our cameras all that kind of stuff and i'm feeling pretty secure right now I don't lie. If you guys are interested in looking at any of the Simply Safe stuff, honestly, it's so affordable for what you get in comparison to other home security systems. I thought it was going to be a lot more expensive, and it definitely wasn't. So if you're interested, I'll link all the details down below. But I'm going to go and get George and run upstairs and maybe sort some of his clothes out as well. I think I've shown you this in a few other vlogs. We've just got like random clothes. These clothes are like not clothes that you want to be folded up, and these are the only drawers that he's got. And he has got like hanging space here. He did have them on these like massive hangers. I bought these little kitty hangers, which I thought would be quite cute to put his clothes on. So I'm gonna do that. Most of his clothes are in the wash and you guys know what I'm like when it comes to washing. I do not do it quickly. So I'm gonna put the clothes that we do have on here and hopefully it'll be just a little bit more organized. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So I don't think I'm going to get around to painting George's room at white today. I have got the paint. It's ready to go. It's just about the timing of it. Because if I paint now, it's coming up to like three o'clock. I don't know if it's going to be completely dry by the time. Hello. Thank you. I don't know if it's going to be completely dry by the time we go to sleep. So obviously I want it to be dry. George has just given me the paint samples as we speak. What's your favourite? Show me your favourite. I hope it's not this one because I don't like it. Nah. <laughs> have to remember like when you're doing paint samples it just depends on what lighting you're in like these look so different Run back. yeah where are you <laughs> yeah paint samples look so different in every single different light this room is generally going to be a darker room because blackout blind like there's not much we can do about that if we have the blind off it's so much brighter but like i also want him to sleep so there's that also this light makes it look so orange in here which i hate um i think maybe if we do get a different light bulb it might help but the lampshade itself makes it look really orange i really like it though i like the lampshade if i turn the um light off like you can actually see the lampshade's quite cute but it just makes the room look really orange, so I don't know. Painting is going to have to wait for another day. I'm going to do like a proper like room makeover for George's room. Um, but that, I don't know, probably August. I'm giving myself time. August. That's when it's happening. You throwing the paint samples down the stairs? Yeah. Which one's your favourite? Ah. Not that one. That one's gone. What do you think? Huh? Ah. I like the colour of your t-shirt. It's pretty. That's the one I like. Mm. Oh, I really don't know. Honestly, every time I look at them, they look different. <laughs> okay, should we go down the stairs, ready? Three. One. Two. two. There you go. Good boy. Come on. Yeah. 
Oh, you don't like holding mummy's hand anymore, do you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I tidied like an hour ago before we set up all the cameras and stuff. What was the point? Why do I never learn? There's no point until he goes to sleep. <laughs> and even then, it will just be like this in the morning. So, yeah. Ah, fun times. But anyway, I think what I'm going to do is attempt to tidy a little bit and then just have a little chill out with George, have a little play, play with some of his new toys and stuff, and yeah, just have a little bit of fun, probably make some more mess, to be honest, and then obviously start on dinner and all that jazz. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for Simply Safe for sending me all the cameras and all of the home security system and everything. I am over the moon with it, and if you guys are looking for something like that, or even are just intrigued... I tell you what, you'll be surprised at the price. That's all I'm saying. It's it's very affordable. Really think it's worth a check out. But for now, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'll see you very, very soon in the next one. Bye.